What is up, people? This um vlog is gonna be about locks and interlocking and palm rolling. Um, forgive me. It's eight forty eight thirty six in the morning, and I have to be at work at nine. So I'm just chilling. Got up early, took a shower. And got dressed. It's a little tired. I was on YouTube looking at. Um, shout out to Not Locks. I think that's his name. Um, was looking at some of his um, videos, and he's been locking for like forty six, forty seven months, something like that. And his locks are are nice, and he interlocks. And that's what I'm doing right now. I started interlocking. Well, I've been locking since. May of 2012, so it's January. So about eight months. But I've only been inter interlocking since, like, June or July. So this is relatively new. Um, What I'm posting about today is whether I should continue interlocking or if I should... You know, go back to palm rolling because when I started, I had been growing my hair almost a year, and I started with comb coils, comb twists. I think that's what they're called. And on my tips, I don't know if you can see it, but I like interlocking because my locks do feel stronger on the parts that are interlocked. So from like here to here I can tell the difference in my hair from where it was interlocked and where the comb coils or comb twists were but like on the end like right here it's extremely mushy and from the um, retwisting with the comb and um, yeah so I feel like I want to continue interlocking just because my locks feel stronger on the parts that are interlocked and my ends which were twisted like you would do if you were palm rolling they are a little softer and more fragile so I don't know if I want to have locks popping off like that so I think I mean of, of course they will pop off if um, you interlock wrong too but my locks from what I can tell are stronger on the parts that are interlocked. So I think I'm going to do that. Uh, continue doing that. Um, what I don't like is the price. So I know it's a, a bunch of tutorials and do-it-yourself interlocks on here. How to interlock your own hair. And stuff like that. So I think that's what I'm going to try to do. Like interlock my own hair. I don't have a tool. I'm going to have to go get one of those because I can't fit my fingers to my new growth all the time. And especially if I'm one close to the scalp. Um, the only thing I don't like about the interlocking is my hair stays frizzy. And I don't know if it's because my hair is too soft or if that is just what interlocking does to your locks. Um, I got my hair interlocked last Saturday. And it was frizzy, and at the root, it isn't as clean as with palm rolling, and that was another concern I had, because I don't like the freshly looked um, locks or parts or whatever, but at the same time, I want it to look like I've just gotten my hair done, and with interlocking, I... Well, at least this time, it looked like my hair had been done a few days right after I got it interlocked. And I don't know how I feel about that, but, I mean, it's cool, I guess. I am just can't wait for them to get longer, and I know patience is a virtue with locks. So, 
with that being said, I think I'm going to, you know, stick it out with interlocking and watch a few more videos on how to um, interlock my own hair. So, that's about it. Um, rate, comment, subscribe. Any questions, hit me up on here or you can hit me up on here. You know, let me know what you think, personal um, opinions about interlocking versus palm rolling, because I know I've seen a lot of videos on here comparing the two. So I just want to know what works best for you guys. I know interlocking is becoming more popular now, and a lot of people are going to it. I mean, it's the same process people would go through if they had sister lock. But oh, some people call it latching. So um, yeah, it does last longer, and my locks feel stronger. But it doesn't look as clean as a retwist would. And can I live with that? I think I can. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed this melodious locks. I think number three. Um. Yeah, just give me you know, input on what you think, and I'll try to respond and tell you what I'm doing, let you know what I'm doing with it. All right? Be blessed.